everyone, it's Lindsay from the blog Books for Christian Girls, and today's video, as you can tell from the title, is something really fun and something I've actually never done before on this channel ever. And that is a reading vlog and a library haul and a solo readathon. I've never done any of these before, so I'm just like, let's just put them all into one video because it kind of works in my head. I do get asked pretty often do I use my library? And yes, just not typically in the physical book way anymore. I use the like the Overdrive app, the Libby app. I use all of that. And I do ebooks and audiobooks mainly through my library now for the last few years, I would say. And so I haven't done physical books in a while from the library for different reasons. But I decided, you know, I'm just going to do it. And so what I did is this idea came to me at 4 in the morning and then the next day I went on my library site and they had a little exclamation point by my name. And I'm like, what in the world is that? And so I checked it out and I had finds from five years ago, almost five years ago. I'm guilty just saying that. So it's only $4.20, but I'm like, hey, maybe I have this in my change jar. Because doesn't everyone have a change jar? I have like three. None of them are full. Just let's note that. None of them are full. I just put like different coins in different ones. I don't know. I do that. But I didn't. I might, and I might have enough change in pennies to make that, but pennies are noisy and a library is quiet. So you see my train of thought. It does. It, those just don't add up. I happened to scroll down and I saw the pay online, so I paid online and now I can go into my library with a guilt-free conscience. So yay. So after paying on a slightly sketchy site and then updating like my email and phone number and all that kind of stuff that was very outdated, I looked up Christian fiction on my library, like I just searched Christian fiction, and it's from the years published in 2017 to 2019. And I was very curious to see what they would have, and they said there was almost 400 results. And as you can probably imagine, that wasn't accurate. My Little Pony was in the mixture, other mainstream books were in that mixture. So, I mean, it, it happens. But I weeded through, and I found some interesting books. So with these nine books, I believe it is, I requested books that maybe I had missed reviewing when they had first came out, or they were books by an author or authors that I had read in the past and I wasn't really impressed with either like the content or the, uh, or just the writing style it just really wasn't my cup of tea. And I've kind of never tried them again, or I've tried them a few times and I've kind of not been any more impressed. So I decided to do more and see how it goes. We'll see. So yeah, I'm going to insert in some library going, going to the library footage here for the little vlogging aspect of this. And I will see y'all in a couple minutes.
And we have books. We have more books. We have more books. There we go. Okay, everyone. So, time to introduce to y'all my books. Don't you love my bag? It's Panda Bears Eating Ramen. I just, I love it. Okay. So, again, these are some authors I haven't tried in a long time, if I have ever tried them. And then I have a couple others that I really enjoy. So, you know, we're just gonna... We're just gonna see how this goes. Okay, and disclaimer, I have not, these books I'm fixing to talk about, I have never read, so I don't know the content in them. Please don't take it as me recommending them right now. I will talk about if I recommend them or not later and how many stars I gave them later in this video. But for right now, I, I don't know anything really about these books in terms of content. So, there's my little disclaimer. Okay, I'm also going to give a little uh, life tip to all my fellow peoples. So, if you check out books from the library and you post about them on Instagram, please cover your library's name for your own safety. <sighs> I see too many of my fellow young girls doing that. And I'm just, even moms. Moms, y'all don't need to do that either. Don't do that. Y'all just, I keep seeing y'all do it. Washi tape fixes the problem. Example. Now, yes, they still write on the top, they stamp the book. But regardless, y'all be safe. Be safe, okay? So, first book I picked out was Wonderland Creek by Lynn Austin. This book is set around the Great Depression. She works at a library. That's all I really know about it. This is the one Lynn Austin book I keep being asked if I've ever read. So, I finally, I'm finally going to read it. Okay, next we have A Rumored Fortune by Joanna Davidson Politano. Don't think I said that right. I really thought her debut book was interesting and I wanted to give her next book a try. And this one is a historical, gothic-y style. The main girl's dad doesn't trust a bank and I think he's hidden money somewhere. I don't really know much about it at this point. But it looks really interesting. And next is Where You Are Near by Tracy Peterson. I have read a lot of Tracy Peterson's older books years ago. And they never really stood out to me. But I've been hearing y'all talk a lot about how her new books are better. So I'm going to try it with this new series. Um, it's a western, obviously. Start of a new series. I think she's a shooter, she shoots, or, oh no, she's a trick writer, something like that. It has to do with trick writing and that kind of stuff. I think that's, that's all I really know about it. Next book is The Governess at Pinwith, Pinwith Hall by Sarah E. Ladd. Number one, cover beautiful. It is a regency and she's a governess. That's, you, you could totally tell that by the cover and thing. Uh, what else do I know about this book? That's all I know about this book. And honestly, I really like governess stories, so that's all I really needed to know. And Sarah E. Ladd books are very just kind of relaxing in the way of I can just kind of turn off my brain. There's not typically anything super deep in them. And this is one of her books I haven't read, so I wanted to go ahead and get this one done. And the next book is The Best of Intentions by Susan Ann Mason. I read her debut book and it really wasn't my cup of tea, but I wanted to give her another try. So I'm going to try out this one, which is book one in a new series. It also has to do with the governess and it's after World War One. Yeah, that's, that's all I know. So we'll see. Next book is A Desperate Hope by Elizabeth Camden. This has to, con this connects to A Dangerous Legacy. Is there another book? I'll put the pictures there. But this is part of that one. I know she is a female doctor. It said at the turn of the 1900s. Uh, that's all I really know about it. I'm curious about this one. Uh, we'll see. 
Next is probably my most anticipated book to read out of all of these, and that is Grace and the Preacher by Kim Volk Sawyer. Number one, I typically enjoy Kim Volk Sawyer books. I've read many of her books. And I think this one I'm really excited for, though, is because it's a mistaken identity plot, and I love those. That's, like, one of my favorite tropes. Did I talk about that in my favorite tropes video? I think I did. I'll link it up there. But I'm very excited about it because she... It works at a post office, and I used to collect stamps. Fun fact, in case anyone knew that. If you watch my random Instagram stories, then you might know that. But anyhow, I just think that's very fascinating. And he is running from somebody, and he ends up, like, taking the identity of a preacher. Again, I don't really know much, but this is probably the one I'm going to get started on maybe first or just within the beginning because I think this one's going to be really interesting. So all of those were historical books, yes? Yes, those were all historical books. But the next one is not, and that is The Crescent Stone by Matt McLatos. I stink with that names, I apologize. But this is a fantasy, and I talked about this book, I believe, on one of my anticipated read videos from maybe 2018, I think? 2019 or 2018 and I just I wanted to try it I'm like well you never know I might like it I'm not a big fantasy reader but I wanted to add a little bit of diversity into this list because it's all it's all historical it just it looks interesting so we'll just have to see what I think about it and then for the ninth book I accidentally uh, <laughs> requested an ebook I didn't know it was an ebook I just hit request and it's like, oh, we'll send it to this email. Huh? It was an ebook. And that is Call to Protect by Lynette Easton. So this is book two in that series, and I believe book three has already come out since this, but I never read book two, so I'm going to go ahead and read book two, and then maybe I'll request book three later from the library. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how well I do with this little mini readathon I'm doing. So here is my stack of books. My stack of books, yep. And the thing is, I'm not really setting a time limit on this. I just really want to read these books before the library really wants them back. And that basically means before they go, you have to give us back this book or we're going to charge you a fee. Because I just paid fees. I don't need to pay any more fees. So I, that's my goal. That is my goal. And now we're just going to go off into the vloggy style of this video. Bear with me, I'm not really done a lot of the vlogging stuff. And I probably won't be wearing makeup, so yay, that's fun. Um, so yeah, that's really it for this part of the video. And I hope you enjoy the reading vlog part of this video. See y'all, but also bye. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs>
Hi everyone! So I just finished my first book of this readathon, mini kind of readathon, and it was good. I gave it three stars. I'm actually gonna start another one I think tonight, maybe. Currently I'm making a snack, but I think I might start another book. But I just finished The Governess of Pinwith Hall, Pinwith, Pinwith Hall by Sarah E. Ladd, and number one, I love this cover. Number two, it was a really cute read. It was sweet. It was kind of one of those books where you don't really have to think a lot about, and I appreciated that because I'm kind of tired. So it was a good read, a little kissy and romancy at times, but overall decent. So I'll see y'all with the next one. I need to go, I'm making pot stickers. I need to go take care of them. And now time to flip them all. Okay, number one, it's really weird being on camera with no makeup on, so yes, do focus on my bookshelf. Good camera, good job. So I think the next book I'm going to start is Grace and the Preacher by Kim Volk Sawyer. This, I'm having difficulty with a library book because for some reason libraries love to put their name all over it and I don't really want to share where I live, sorry y'all. But with this book, this author, I've read many of her other books before, but I never got to read this one, so I'm excited to start it. I've heard friends like it and other friends not like it, so I'm curious to give it an opinion by myself. Focus on the bookshelf. gonna focus on me no okay that works too so hi everyone it's Lindsay from day two it is Sunday afternoon and I just finished Grace and the Preacher by Kim Volk Sawyer it was a really cute one I loved the faith content in it I thought it was really good I think I want to get a copy of this for my own personal collection so so far the readathon has been going pretty well and now I probably won't read anymore for today because I need to go do Korean homework for my class tomorrow. And yeah, that's my check-in for day two. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Lindsay. It's day, obviously it's Lindsay. Uh, it's day, technically it's day three, but I think technically it also should be counted as day six, but I haven't read for three of those days, so in my eyes it's day three. I'm going to say it's day three, and I just finished my third book, and that was The Best of Intentions by Su Susan Ann Mason, and this was one of my gamble books, like I mentioned prior, and... Again, as I also mentioned prior, I kind of made it clear that I love mistaken identity tropes. So that's what gave me the um, the nudge to try this author again because I really wasn't a fan of her debut book. So I tried out this one and the first half of it I really enjoyed and then exactly halfway it started getting super kissy and it was just um, awkward and unfortunately yeah that affected my rating i think i'm giving it two and a half maybe three it did have good faith content that i like seeing but 
it was really kissy. So unfortunately, that one didn't quite meet my expectations. If I had expectations, I might check out the next book in the series, maybe. Maybe, I'm not sure. We'll see about that. But yeah, I'll see y'all when I read again. So bye for now. Hi everyone, it is day four, day four of the readathon technically. I'm picking up my fourth book. Um, I think though it's going to be the first DNF and it's uh, When You Are Near by Tracy Peterson. I've gotten about 40 pages into this and I'm just, I'm not feeling it. And in all honesty, time is of the essence now because my library used to always have where you ha you could renew three times, two weeks each time, so six weeks. I did the math for you, you're welcome. But now they have where you can only do four weeks and that's in like six, five days. So time is of the essence and honestly, I'm just, I'm not clicking with this book. I really am not. I mean, I didn't get super far into it, and I see reviews saying it's a slow start. But I'm just having difficulty, so I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna finish it. I think we're gonna DNF that one, and move on to probably the ebook because I'm feeling a, I want something a little more suspenseful. So I think I'm gonna go to Called to Protect by Lynette Easton. But yeah, it's unfortunate. But I don't know. I don't think Tracy Peterson books are my thing. Like I've read a few of her other books long time ago not long long time ago but a while ago and it's just I don't they just don't click with me that's the best way I can describe them so yeah we tried don't think I'll be finishing this one see y'all with the next update um okay everyone it is the next day I finished Call to Protect by Lena Easton I'll put the cover up there and I mean, it deals with human trafficking, so it's not an easy read by any means. And I gave it two stars, let's just put it that way. Um, I kind of ranted a little bit about the typical romantic suspense elements. And I put that on my Instagram story, and I think I'll insert that into this video. Hi everyone, rant time. So I'm reading a suspense book, and this is very common in, sus in suspense books when something happens and one of the main characters suggests it and the other one goes, you're a genius, and then kisses the other person. You're in the middle of a crime scene. What are you doing? I mean, I don't have a lot of pet peeves. Okay, I do. But still, like, really? Really? I'm like, is that, is that, is that, like, you just kissed her randomly on the lips and your daughter is missing with human trafficking ring. Like, really? happens all the time though in suspense books where like they have random just kisses in the middle of an investigation or just when when the mood is not romantic so I'm like what are y'all doing so there's my rant for the day uh let's see how many more times that happens in this suspense book uh <laughs> my bet is a lot it's common so thanks for listening so yeah, that one's done, and in the prior clip I mentioned about the library and the two week renewal and all that. Never mind y'all, I don't know. I went back on my account and now it says I have like almost a month to have them. So I don't know, I'm really confused. I'm still going to try to get these done within a week though because I have other things I need to read. I think I've kind of been up more than I can chew, but yeah, I'm just, I think I'm going to start an another book here in about an hour. So I'll see y'all then. And we have another DNF book. That's A Desperate Hope by Elizabeth Camden. And I didn't get far into it before certain content was alluded to. And I'm just, I'm not there for that. So we're DNFing this one and gonna see about another book. We'll see. Hi everyone, it's Sunday. This is not a readathon day. Yesterday, Saturday was, and so was Friday, and I never got to finish updating y'all. And I finished The Crescent Stone last night, well, more like yesterday evening. And y'all, I finished a fantasy book. Y'all need to be proud of me, number one. And number two, I actually enjoyed quite a few aspects of it. Um, I think I might read the second book 
if I can get my hands on it. My library doesn't have it. But I'm not really going to push it at like the top of my list. It was interesting and it didn't really make my head hurt like a lot of fantasy books. So I was excited about that. And yeah, that's all I really have to check in. I won't be reading today. Maybe tomorrow and Tuesday to finish out these last library books. But yeah, I'll see y'all then. Hi everyone. So it's been a while since I've vlogged for this. It is September 2nd and the library books are due in 17 days. And actually before that because I want to turn them in early because the 19th is a Saturday and I don't like going out of that house on a Saturday. So I have two books left and that is A Rumored Fortune and then Wonderland Creek. And I'm going to read one of these today and hopefully one tomorrow and then I'll give them back on Monday most likely because of my schedule. So I'm going to pick up one of those here in a bit. Not sure which one. I'll probably read the first chapter or both and decide which one I'm in the mood of. But yes, I'll see you with my thoughts later. Well, that was a fascinating read. Okay, hmm. So I just finished A Rumored Fortune by Joanna David Napolitano. And oh my goodness. I really enjoyed that. That was, that was fascinating. Just, let's just put it that way. Main girl, love her dearly. So many quotes. I love her dearly. He was great for her. The entire mystery yes yes i'm t i was so impressed and in all honesty y'all know how much i talk about rereading but let's talk about how that never happens and that it's kind of like pulling teeth for me to get to reread a book because i stink at rereading books but this one i would so reread this one i would reread this one in a heartbeat this was really good i need to get my own copy of this one it was really good content wise okay let's see there was two kisses that were a little much for my taste but honestly, they were like semi-detailed to detail that borderline. And honestly, other than that, it, w it was pretty clean, y'all. It was really clean. I really enjoyed it. Her wit, her wit was great. Like, her wit is in a place I aspire to be that quick and just well-spoken. She was so well-spoken. Um, let's see. The spiritual content was really good. Like, it was so refreshing. This book was just so refreshing. It was so different from a lot of the mainstream Christian historical fiction and I think the mystery helped with that but it was just oh it was very fascinating I'm giving this book four stars I do wish the ending would have continued a little bit more because there was a few things that were like going to happen that I would have liked to see play out like I, honestly there could have been another 50 pages and I would have been totally fine with that but I also think like I didn't want to say goodbye to the characters which is true but more could have happened a little bit more and I would have been a little bit more satisfied but ultimately I am satisfied I'm really impressed and now I gotta go see if they have her new book at the library because I want to read that one now too so yay okay I'll see y'all probably tomorrow I don't I don't think I'm gonna pick up at the last book tonight even though I technically have time I uh I need to savor this book a little bit more because I really enjoyed this one. <laughs> okay, two things, two updates. First things first, uh, my library has randomly changed their entire website for the first time in like eight years. So that happened. And then the next book, uh, this author's next book just came out on the 30th, so three days ago. and. The ebook line, I am number seven, so they're saying it's going to take 14 weeks to get it in. So I also requested the book version, and they have ordered a copy, but it's not available yet. But I'm hold number two on that, so maybe I'll 
get it before then. Hopefully, hopefully not too bad. So yeah. Hi everyone, it's Lindsay, as usual. I'm wearing a blanket because it's freezing in my room, as usual. So it's the next day and I just tried to get into Wonderland Creek by Lynn Austin and just not feeling it. So you know, I think I'm just gonna, I'll keep it on my to read list on Goodreads, but I don't think I'm gonna read it now. I don't think I'm gonna finish it. It's just, she's a little spoiled here at the beginning and I am I bet that gets better, but I'm just, I'm just not in the mood for that. So with that, this readathon is actually still not done because last night at like three in the morning i received a notification that an ebook came in and that is the sequel to called to protect and it's a vow of i'll put the cover here i don't remember but that book just came in on my e-library stuff so i think i'll probably read it but in all honesty we'll consider this wrap up uh, this little library readathon done I'm sure this is going to be crazy to edit and also just crazy to watch so I, I hope you all enjoyed it I will see you in just a moment with a little outro and final thoughts so wait see y'all then <laughs> hi everyone did I wear the same top in the beginning of this video I think I did oh well that happened so hi everyone I'm going to end this video with just a little wrap up um, this video was kind of all over the place, wasn't it? I'm, I'm pretty positive that it was. Um, instead of doing like my normal setup, which you saw at the beginning, I'm just gonna finish this video in like a vlogging style. That's what I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead and just wrap it up. Okay, so I'm gonna do, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this in writing order. So to start, trying to find what ratings I all gave because I started this video about a month ago now I think okay okay and now my battery's dying really y'all okay hang on and we're back okay uh huh. this video is just all over the place isn't it y'all sorry about that okay so we started I started this readathon party of one um with nine books eight physical books and one ebook all got gotten from all that I got from the library <sighs> I can't English anymore so let's just do a little uh, summary shall we so I gotta do this in a way there we go okay again this is not my normal setup the microphone's not the same I apologize I DNF'd three of them because content I didn't think was necessary I alluded to at the beginning very nonchalantly couldn't get into it but you know I might I might try this one another day because I keep y'all keep asking me if I've read this author and I still haven't apparently but the main girl in this like she just seemed very spoiled at first and I just I wasn't in the mood for that but I, I'm sure she gets better I hope she gets better um next was this one and yeah this writing style just doesn't click with me I don't know what it is this author I have tried her multiple times and yeah it just doesn't doesn't click and then next was a two-star read, and that was called To Protect by Lynette Easton. I did enjoy this one, but again, it had to deal with human trafficking and sex trafficking. And you know, that's not really a, a feel-good read by any means, and it shouldn't be. It should be awkward because it's not right. And see so yeah, our content, of course, in that one. I did, I did go ahead and request the third book, as I mentioned the other day in the prior clip I mentioned that but I haven't read it yet and honestly don't feel like my schedule will allow me to read it before it's due back to the library so that will probably have to happen in another time but that's okay so let's see that one was two stars and then two and a half three-ish I'm leaning more towards two and a half was the best of intentions by Suzanne and Mason and it was it started off really interesting but then it just got so kissy that I'm just like can you not think about his lips? That'd be great, thanks. Like, I'm sorry, y'all, but... Do we need to be so kissy? I, I don't think so, no. Also, two stars was The Crescent Stone by Matt Makalatos. It's a fantasy book, y'all. I think y'all need to be proud of me because I read a fantasy book. 
um, it was interesting. I will admit, I enjoyed this one. It didn't make my hurt my my head hurt that much. Um, yeah, it it wasn't wasn't that bad. I was impressed, and honestly, I think I might I might read the next book if I can get my hands on it. But yeah, it was interesting. Of course, it does deal with magic. So if you or your family is sensitive to that, maybe not this fantasy book. But, it, yeah, it was interesting. Next, we had The Governess of Pin White Pin With Hall by Sarah E. Ladd. And I gave this one three stars. Yeah, three stars. It was interesting. Really, I feel like her books, for me, are just like a, a, a more easy read. Typically, the content is pretty good. There's not really a lot of things I have to note in my review. So I can kind of just, like, turn off. Not turn off my brain, because that sounds really weird. But, you know, just, like... I don't have to focus as much and it's not really any deep issues it was interesting and I think I want to get a copy of this for my own shelf because one this cover was beautiful and I did enjoy it so the four stars I read what the first one was Grace and the Preacher by Kim Vogue Sawyer this has been one I've wanted to read for a while and I haven't been able to but now I got my hands on the copy and I'm really I really want to get my own copy of this one like they're out of this readathon out of the nine books I want to get three of them of my own copy for my bookshelf, and this is one of them. It was cu it was cute. I loved the faith content. It was fun. So there's that. And then the final book was A Rumored Fortune by Joanna Davidson Politano. I gave this book four stars, and this is one I definitely am going to try to get from my bookshelf. I really, really enjoyed this one. I raved about it earlier, and then I also raved about it on my Instagram stories as I was finishing it and reading it, and I just, I really liked it. So out of all these books, I would say this one was probably my favorite, with Grace and the Preacher being a second. Ta-da! So I consider this Party of One readathon a success. I hope you enjoyed this video, even if it was incredibly messy. But I hope you enjoyed it. I have officially done a readathon now, though it technically was just me, but still that works. I am officially ending this readathon on Thursday, September 5th, and I'll give all the books back to the library on Monday. So yeah. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it was all over the place. I'm Lindsay from the blog booksforchristiangirls.blogspot.com, where there's a new review every Friday. I have a new video on this channel every other Thursday, and I'm on Instagram somewhat randomly, but I try. So I'll see y'all then. Bye!